What's good, my tech friends? This is the one on the tech bus. Just checking my mic is working. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, it's definitely working. <laughs> you know how it is upgrading and that, you get me. Anyway, this Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, I've been using this phone for three, four weeks now. So I say, in total, I've been using this phone for a month now. So I'm gonna bring you guys a month pre or review about the phone. But yeah, without further ado, let's, let's, let's just get right to it. So anyway, first thing and one and more and mostly, I don't know if I said that right, but the whole design of the phone, the outer shell, what Samsung has actually done with the actual device is just absolutely brilliant. It's so, the phone just looks so, so supreme. It's just, I don't, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but it just feels so good. It looks so good as well. Like you, you, you see that phone in the shop, you're like, whoa. What a what a what a what a piece of kit! What a machine! What a machine! We've got it in the lies, green color, but yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's just simply amazing. The the design, the slickness, it's just. Uh, I mean, what can you expect more from Samsung? It's a flagship phone, so obviously they have to design it really, 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 really well. One thing I do hate about the out theory of this device is where the lock button is. I mean, like I said to you guys when I did my other videos on the on these on the S10 and S10 Plus, you just the, the flipping lock button is just too high. It's meant to be somewhere around there, just like the S8 and the S8 Plus and the S9 and the S9 Plus. But it's just too high. I feel like I'm having to stretch a bit too far just to get to that lock button. Whereas my other phones is right there. I'm holding my phone in my normal holding position and the button, the lock button is literally just right there so I can just tap it. As you can see, it's all the way up here so I have to actually go out my way of the way I normally hold the phone to reach up and press the unlock button or lock it or turn the phone on or off. One thing I don't really like about the phone. There's two things, but that's the one thing I don't like about the phone. Moving on to the display of the screen, like I've showed you guys, it's actually got a 6.4 inch Quad HD Dynamic OLED Infinity O display. Long word, right? Long flipping word, but you guys just need to know one thing about the display. It's absolutely amazing. It's, it's the best display out there, hands down. If you can look at all the smartphones, the, the Apple lineup, the Huawei lineup, the OnePlus lineup, the Google Pixel, none of them comes close to the display Samsung has. It's just absolutely amazing. Also, this is rocking 4K display as well, which is pretty damn sweet. Coming in at 30, 40 times 14, 40 resolution, which yeah, is just amazing. I mean, there is other, it's, it's the same resolutions on other phones, but I mean, the way Samsung is actually made the screen and the display just way better than every, every everyone else out there which is pretty damn flipping sick but anyway let's move on to the notch the notch is um well well there is no notch it's just called a simple hole hole cut out uh, no a uh, hole punch cut out what, uh, what's that called um near the hole <laughs> i had to look at my script who who, who would ever thought I'd make a video with a flipping script. Anyway, the hole punch. I'd rather have the hole punch than the notch. The notch is just really annoying. You look at the phone and you're like, and you see the notch and you're like, ah, oh, you know what? The bottom of my screen has actually been cut off. I can't really use that part. But the hole punch is literally the whole screen. So you can see it's literally the whole screen with a with a with a punch with a cutout in the middle. Well, at the top, at the top right hand corner of the screen which looks a bit more sexier a bit more snazzier it feels a bit more supreme it looks like you know it's been well thought of kind of thing if you know what i mean but yeah I, like i said i'd rather have that instead of the notch looks better and it's just it's just amazing looks looks amazing especially when you're watching youtube videos or any videos of that matter it's not distracting it's just good it's just it's just like it's meant to be there, basically. Moving on to the camera. Obviously, as you all know, this phone has five cameras. We've got 
three in the back and we got two in the front and this phone has actually two cameras in the front as you guys all know the S10 Plus has two, two cameras in the front and the front camera one of them is 10 megapixel and the other one is 8 megapixel mixing together you're getting 18 megapixel you know camera to take your selfies you know the selfie lovers you know mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry don't mind me <laughs> and then moving on to the rear of the cam of, of the of the device we've got three cameras one of them is the 12 is the 12 megapixel telephoto camera and then the second one is also a 12 megapixel it's also 12 megapixel but it's actually a wide angle camera so that's what gets your wide angle when you when you go to do your wide angle photographic photographicking uh, that's, I think that's a push word to call it Ph photographicking on the landscape and all that chisel you get me and then the third camera you actually have in there is an ultra is a 16 megapixel ultra wide so <clears throat> so you got the the normal and um, the normal camera which is the wide angle lens and then you got the telephoto the tele for the, the telephoto camera which brings this brings the subject even closer and then you got the ultra wide angle which gives you that fish-eyed kind of look to it to the picture kind of vibe so you can see more in the frame but yeah it's good it's it's pretty damn snazzy and cool but i'm gonna be putting in i'm gonna be maybe making another video going into more in depth about the camera on this phone i'm not too sure yet but i have to experiment i literally have not taken one picture of myself with this phone since I've had it. I've been so damn busy, it's just it's just unreal. But anyway, moving on. This device actually has the capabilities to charge other things. Whatever that is wireless, you can charge with this phone. As long as you've got juice in this phone, it will charge it. Just like the Huawei, I believe Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Um, it had the wireless share, the, the wireless charging, sharing, whatever they call it, but Samsung actually called it the wireless, I think the, the power share, power share mode. So it could actually charge a phone from this phone to another phone. So you can literally drop another phone on here or drop anything that's actually wireless on this phone and it will charge it. Not very quickly, but I mean, cool kind of implement to the phone. In case you're 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 in emergency situations and you have to charge up a phone or charge up something very quickly so you can use it or make a call or, or whatever, so you just have that nice feature there, so you can just charge and yeah, do whatever you got to do. Moving on to the speakers, the speakers are actually created and made by AKG, just like we saw in the Samsung Galaxy S8 all the way to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus now. That we have, but yeah, all the all the <clears throat> and no, maybe not the speakers on the actual phone, the actual earbuds from the Samsung Galaxy S8 all the way through Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has been made by AKG. But they've actually allowed AKG to actually invent or or make the speakers inside the actual S10 and the S10 Plus, which is pretty cool. The sound quality is absolutely amazing. It's just it's so damn crisp. It's just it's just unreal, which is pretty damn good. But yeah, you get obviously you get the AKG earbuds in the box when you get the phone, and also the AKG um, kind of technology pack system inside the actual phone. So whatever sound you're hearing out of the phone is actually sound from and by AKG, which is pretty damn cool. And then you got this nice feature called the app and the Dolby Atmos which basically when I switch it on the audio actually comes out from the earpiece which uh, which which I think is pretty damn cool but it's not really it's, it's, it's not really like a it's not it's, it's it's I wouldn't say it's a gimmick it does the, it does its job but the only thing that I've noticed from it is that it literally just makes the audio a bit more louder that's it it doesn't really give any 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 oomph to it, it just gives it more, more, more of a, more of a, more a little bit of bass. As you know, I don't know, <laughs> and it, it and enhances the the volume. It makes it a little bit louder, which is which is pretty damn cool. 
and then you've got the fingerprint sensor reader which is different from every single every single um, it's, it's different from every single fingerprint out there on the smartphone at Huawei, Huawei yes it's all on the screen underneath the display and all that but this is actually more it's, it's more advanced than just underneath the screen it's more inside and built on this underneath there's more layers of the phone I don't know how to explain it but it's it's fast it's it's pretty sharp it's pretty pretty quick like lock the phone put it on it just unlocks it pretty damn quick but there's one thing about the fingerprint scanner that I don't really like it's not very responsive sometimes sometimes you lay place your finger on it it doesn't really doesn't really unlock it straight away as in if you kind of put your fingers like weird like maybe like this you won't unlock it you have to properly place it all the way down flat so it unlocks the phone put it anymore in any other way and it won't unlock it whatsoever at all but it's a good design it's a good feature about the phone is this it, it puts more character to the phone you know it's, it's like Samsung is is updating the self with obviously everyone else just doing it if that makes sense then you got the about the battery life which is not too bad 4100 milliamp of battery which is not bad I mean for me my daily usage from when I wake up in the morning to the end of the day it's good because I'm not really a heavy phone user but I'm getting from 100% and when I finish work and I'm at home during the evening I'm, I've got I've still got at least around what 70 something percent but I've used the phone quite heavily sometimes and I've gone to 100 to and I've left and I'm left with like maybe 40 or 50 percent something like this so yeah it's not too bad of a battery if you're phone if you're heavily heavy phone user then it should last you all day it should definitely last you all day face unlock face unlock is pretty it's 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 not the quickest I've I have seen more quicker face unlock features on the phone on on other smartphones but this one is it's fast but it's not it's not it's lightning speed I mean sometimes in the dark it does it sometimes in the dark it does sometimes in the day it does it sometimes in the day it doesn't but I'll say 90% not even 90 maybe 95% of the time it works and the rest of the 5% of the time it doesn't work so just be careful about that guys but yeah it should work it should work all the time but it's just sometimes it's just a bit awkward maybe the lighting is bad or, or a weird angle or something like that and you want to unlock it so you, you have to proper light put it in your face like this scan my face <laughs> and then it actually does it but yeah guys that's the video finished there that's my review on the phone a month into actually using the phone click up there is that the right side no it's this side isn't it? click up there or up there i don't know to have a look at the unboxing that i did on, on the s10 and the s10 plus and don't forget to smash that like button also subscribe share the video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and also comment down below tell me what you think about the video and all that but yeah that's my review i don't really do much reviews on this channel but it's the s10 plus so i had to Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.